So I turned on my Google TV, and this is what I see. It says System Update. The latest version of Google TV, with many great changes, is ready to download. After installation, your Logitech review will restart. You will not be able to use it while this is happening. Click More Info below to learn more, including where to find revised legal terms that apply to this update. If you agree to these terms, please select Install Now. Now right now I think that the Logitech review is the greatest value in an online streamer today. The only drawback of it is its current user interface. But with Honeycomb coming to this device it simplifies it greatly and I really can't wait to get it on here. So let's hit install now and get this process started. I get this cool little Google TV graphic that it's downloading. All right, nice. You already see the honeycomb background there, and it says update complete, and it's updating my controller right now. Update complete. Congratulations. Your review has been updated. Check out what's new. So let's go through this, and we're going to click on next. All right, it looks like it's going to go through the user interface here, and the first thing here it says one of five, which is the home button. The home key gives you quick access to applications and notifications no matter where you are on your review. So very similar to the way it was before, except it's much more presentable. It's a little more discreet at the bottom of the screen, if you see there, and it looks a lot more user-friendly. So let's click on Next. Two of five is the Android market. That's one thing that's new with the Honeycomb update. Prior to this update, you could not get the Android market on any Google TV device. It says, Android market has arrived. Launch it from home and make your TV what you want it to be. So as I understand right now, the Android market on Google TV is somewhat limited. But hopefully, developers jump on this and really make use of this great device. Let's hit next. Number three of five is TV and movies. TV and Movies is a new way to find out what's available on TV and the web, all in one place. Now with my setup up here, I don't have my Google TV hooked up with my cable, but you actually can hook it up with your cable box. So when you do a search on this device, you search for things that are on TV on your cable provider and also on the internet. Let's hit next. Search Google TV. This is number four of five. Press the search key to find TV shows, TV channels, websites, and much more. So it sounds like it's pretty much the same as it was before, but in a future video, I will actually walk you through all of these functions on the new Honeycomb version of the Logitech Review. Let's hit Next. And 5 of 5, the menu. Press the menu key to reveal any available options. Try it in Home or in Google Chrome to see what's under the hood. Users of Android should be very familiar with this. Let's hit Next. Help make Google TV better. Automatically send usage statistics and crash reports to Google. I usually do this, only that way you can help make the operating system better. You can help squash bugs. And you really don't have to do anything. It's all automatic. So I'm going to click on the checkbox here, and I'm going to hit That's It. Now, as I said, I don't have my cable hooked into my Logitech review, so that's why it says no TV source. Your Logitech review is not connected to a cable box or any TV source. I'm going to have to keep it that way because I have basic cable up here and I don't have an HDMI out from my cable box, and you need that in order for it to work with the Google TV. So I'm just going to hit cancel, and here we go. This is the new Google TV interface much less jumbled, and much more user-friendly. One of the drawbacks of the original Google TV interface was that it was definitely not organized as it could have been. But this looks much better. So that pretty much does it for this video. In my next video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the Logitech Review with Google TV with the new Android Honeycomb update. So I'll see you guys next time.